It's one of the biggest packaged food companies in the world, with iconic brands like Lucky Charms, Nature Valley, YoPlay, and haagen ice cream. But after more than 150 years in the game, General Mills has found itself in a bit of a rut, as consumers' tastes shift to healthier options and sales take a dip. Some are saying um, General Mills is ripe for a takeover. What are your thoughts on that? We're not looking to be taken over. We, we think we can get ourselves back to growth, and that's the, that's the key for us. You know, we've been around 150 years, and there's a reason for that. And the reason is that we've been able to adapt to change over time. I mean, we used to make Nerf balls. We don't do that anymore. You know, over the course of 150 years, you know, we've been, we've been successful. New CEO Jeffrey Harmony, a 23-year-old veteran of the food giant who took the helm in June, is now tasked with turning the $16 billion company around for investors. Sales have declined for the, the last eight quarters. You've also cut thousands of jobs. What's your turnaround plan? First of all, we needed to get more fit as a company, and, and we needed to reduce our costs, which we've done. And so we were, we're unapologetic about the need to uh, have done that. But now it's time to pay that off. And so as we look ahead, you know, we're still going to get more efficient because we think there are opportunities to become more efficient. But for us, really is shifting to top line growth. That's why we've changed our strategies to global growth strategies and restructure our organization behind those strategies. He says part of that plan also includes being ahead of the way consumers shop. Certainly the rise of e-commerce in food is going to be, um, is going to be the, the biggest thing that we see. The consumers shop online for many other things and they're going to shop for food online as well. That'll be the, that'll be the biggest change you know, we see over the next five years is how food's delivered. And he says the recently announced mega merger between Amazon and Whole Foods doesn't pose a threat. How is that going to be a game changer? Well, I mean, we're, we're excited about it. And uh, we've got, not only do we have great relationships with Amazon and, and Whole Foods, but I think people underestimate the impact that it's gonna, that it's gonna have on people like Albertsons or Walmart or Kroger. And um, it, that's really gonna spur the adoption of e-commerce. And we have great relationships with those retailers as well and do well with those retailers. You get a lot of pressure from food retailers um, for price cuts as the grocery store wars like continue. The grocery business has always been competitive. And there are, we've, we've seen prices challenged over the last couple of years, but really it's actually more due to commodity costs than it is you know, grocery wars among, among retailers. And while the company has shifted to offer more organic and natural products, Harmony says taste still matters to consumers. People ask me what are consumers really pushing for. It's interesting, consumers are looking for the same kind of things they've always looked for. They want stuff that's good for them, they want stuff that tastes good, they want it a good value, and they want it convenient. And, um, you know, when we added more cinnamon to Cinnamon Toast Crunch, we grew that business. Um, Lucky Charms, when we were talking about no artificial colors and flavors, you know, people, the, the consumers really didn't care so much. When we started talking about marshmallows again, you know, the, the business started to grow. So consumers look for a lot of different things, and we're confident that we can grow our iconic brands as well as, uh, as, well as some of our new iconic brands. But the key is really making sure we deeply understand what consumers want and then, and then give it to them.